up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I want to take a second. I want to thank each and every single one of you guys. You guys out there are all awesome. I've been getting tons of love lately. And I know I say that. I have been saying that in the past couple of videos, but it's because I have been. And I got to show love to all you guys showing love to me. So I appreciate you guys. So in this video, I had a friend of mine reach out to me uh, and wanted me to detail his car. Mainly, take care of the paint. It's a 2019, the 2019 Subaru BRZ. Clean little car, it's hardly, I don't think it's got 10,000 miles on it. But he's getting ready to store it in his warehouse and he wants to polish it up, get some protection on it, and they're looking to sell it soon, so. He, he brought it to me. Little background on the car. So he told me that he had previously put a coating on it, which was, I believe, the uh, CarPro C-Course 3.0. It's a while back, but uh, he he didn't follow the steps right, so he just he said, you know, it, it's probably not even on there. It's not hanging on right. It's not really there in some areas. So I kind of, this is my first time working on a coated car, and he wanted me to polish it. So I was kind of nervous and whatnot, but I went ahead and washed it. I, I wanted to film the whole process, but it's just too much going on right now. I got my giveaway going on today, and uh, I have to stop mid mid this detail to do my giveaway. So I'm just kind of showing you guys bits and pieces here, but I had a subscriber really want me to film this polish, so I'm gonna film when I can. Uh, sorry for rambling. Uh, so I went ahead and got it washed, uh, and I deconned it. it. The paint really wasn't that bad. I used my, my nano skin clay towel uh, and went around basically just the top portions, the roof, the hood, and the trunk lid, and the back of the bumper on the top portion of the bumper really were the only spots that, that needed it. Since I'm polishing the whole car, I went around and kind of just gently glided my clay towel across pretty much the rest of the car just because I already know I'm gonna be polishing it. So I got it all uh, contamination free. And I noticed while I was washing it that that it it wasn't acting like a, a coating, a true coating. So I don't think it bonded right. There are some certain little areas. There was like three little spots where it was resilient. I used my Poor Boys World strip down uh, and did two passes and that pretty much knocked out 90%, 95% of what was on the car. There's a few spots on the rear bumper and the right front corner of the front bumper that are resilient that I'm going to need to polish off. Now, this is already cleaned, prepped, ready for me to polish on. I'm gonna get all my stuff set up and I'm gonna walk you through what I'm gonna be using and the process I'm gonna be starting. So with that being said, let's get over uh, and do a little quick walk around on this Subaru and go over some of the stuff I'm gonna be using and uh, let's have some fun, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this BRZ. Give you guys a quick walk around. Like I said, this thing's only got like 10,000 miles on it, but there are some minor defects. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that in the camera. Let's see if I can get over here. Very, very minor, but there's some etching. He just basically wants this thing looking good. You can see these side mirrors got a lot of swirls and haze. We're gonna polish those up for him. It's almost like this light's too bright. But it's really, it's really not that bad, guys. Really not that bad at all. There's a few spots there. But it's really not that bad at all. Let me get the camera set up and I'm gonna show you what I'm working with here, guys. All right, everybody, so here is my little setup here. Nothing spectacular. Uh, I'm gonna be using my Max Shine M15 Pro Series 2. It's a 15 millimeter long throw. Now I have two separate pads here. They're both Rupes pads, but I got the white and the yellow. The yellow is a, lot, is a little more firm. It's gonna give me a little more cut. This is an ultra fine. So this is fine, and this is an ultra fine. 
Um, I like to start with the least aggressive method. Uh, that's the way to do it. Uh, you don't want to just jump into to cutting all the clear coat off the car if you don't need to. So I always start with a light pad. I'm going to be using 3D1. This is a great one step. I'm just doing a one step on this thing. So, But uh, I've been having a lot of subscribers lately that are just getting into it. And they ask, you know, what pad to use, uh, what compound to use. 3D1 is a fantastic product. It can cut and it can finish down and polish. It all depend. It's pad dependent. So you can you can use a cutting pad and 3D1 get some nice results, and then just switch out your pad to a finishing pad or a polishing pad. Still use 3D1 and finish and polish out. So that's the good thing about 3D1. All right, everybody. It's kind of nice to actually work on a car that I could pull in and close the garage door so you guys can hear me. Uh, so I got my 3D1 here. I'm gonna go ahead and give it up a really good shake. If your product's been sitting even for just a week or two, always give them a really, really good shake to get all them chemicals and everything mixed up that you need. All right. So, I've got my white ultra fine roots pad here. We are going to put a few drops on here. That's pretty much all you need. We're gonna do this section here. I'm gonna come in and check our work. Throw your cord over your shoulder, that way you're not putting any more scratches in the paint that you need to take care of. All right, let's get to polishing on this paint, guys. Um, so I'm not gonna speed up this uh, polish because there's people out there that are wanting to get into polishing and they're scared or they just they don't want to they don't know how fast to go they don't know how much pressure you need to put down and a lot of times I find the, that people even myself I do in some cases will fast forward uh, through this process but I'm leaving it as is real time that way those people out there can kind of get a feel for arm speed and how fast you should be going when polishing I'm not compounding. If I was compounding, my arm speed would be a little bit slower as well. They say one inch per second. But I'm polishing here, so your arm speed doesn't need to be that slow. So I'm leaving it for those that want to use it as a guide and a reference and, and, and hope that it will help some people out. So on my Max Shine M15 Pro Series 2 here, I'm on speed 4. That's all I needed really through this whole correction. Uh, on my G8, I was on speed 5 and that was perfect for me and now I'm not bearing down really at all whatsoever I'm just applying a very moderate pressure just to keep the pad flat and you can see as I go over this hump right here you can kind of see the back plate start to stall it's hard to see in the video but there is a concave hump there that the M the M15 Pro Series 2 had a little bit of stalling issues but nothing major not bearing down hard at all light pressure and uh, just make a make a few passes and then go in and check your work and if you like where you're at then you stick with that pad combination and that's the importance of doing a test section so you can see where you're at as far as defect removal if you're happy if you're not if you wipe it off and you're not happy you can in this case I could step it up to the yellow pad and probably you know I would do another section on the other side of the hood. I don't want to test in the same spot because you'll be removing more clear. Uh, so I would do it on the opposite side of the hood and with the yellow pad and then check my work. Okay, that's what I'm going to use. Then I will continue to use that. So hopefully that helps you guys out. And uh, yeah.
All right. A lot of you guys might be saying, oh, well, your arm speed's too fast. Uh, you need to move slower. I'm not going after deep correction, guys. When you're polishing, you don't need to do that super slow, you know, one inch per second or whatever they call it when you're correcting. Um, I keep my arm speed fairly quick, pressure moderate, you know, really not bearing down on the pad at all, just kind of letting the pad do the work. And you just do a few passes. And I did notice with, there's a little hump right here. I did notice that uh, it was stalling just a little bit on the Series 2, but nothing you can't work around. You know, it's, it's not a big deal to me. So let's get this wiped off. Now the one thing about 3D1 is it is a little bit oily when you're going to wipe it off. A little bit, nothing major. Still wipes off fairly easy. Just like that. Now, just coming with my paint prep. Just wipe it down, make sure we get all them residues off of there. All right, let's take our light. Excuse my hands, guys. I'm gonna grab you guys off of here and bring you guys in. See if maybe we can see a difference here. I'll try to dim this down one time. I don't know if you guys are catching that, but boop. Right there, see that line? It's hard to see because it's like a flat paint, but you can definitely see. Right where the line is. You can see if you watch the light, it gets hazy around it. Right there. So it definitely made a huge difference. And honestly, I am very happy with that very this paint is soft and when you hear people talk about soft paint what you use on your previous paint on a different car that worked really well for you may not work the same as it does on a softer paint so if, if you're the last car you did had a hard clear and you had to use uh, an aggressive compound and a microfiber pad and you think I'm going to use that on the next car because it works so well. Then you come in here and you start mowing down and you start taking way more clear off than you need to. See, I was going to start, I was going to start with this yellow pad and you can hear the difference. It's a little more dense, so that would remove more. This is their ultra fine pad, the least aggressive method. I started first and I'm very, very happy with it and I'm going to stick to that throughout the whole car. And that's the importance. If I would have jumped into the yellow, would I have still gotten good results? Absolutely. But I'd be taking off more clear than I needed to. And that's what you gotta, that's what you gotta consider. So that's why you always start with the most least aggressive method. So you can save your clear coat, guys. So I am going to, I'm gonna finish the hood and uh, I'll bring you guys back in and you guys can check out the hood and go from there. All right, everybody, we are making progress on this BRZ. So far, I've got pretty much everything but the left front fender done. I wanted to give you guys a quick update. So the white pad is still still holding strong. There are still some imperfections. And it's going to be hard to see. But there's a good view right here. I haven't done this door. I'm getting ready to start on this door. Now, if you pay attention to the light you see all those water spots and etching and swirls and scratches and then we come right over here and boom looks fantastic it's hard to see on this color but you can definitely see here in this door 
that there are tons of staining and etching and whatnot in this door. And we're gonna come right over here. Oh, there we go, that's a good one. Sorry for my shadow. Just pay attention to the light in the paint. How crystal clear it gets versus over here. Hard to see, I know, but there is progress, guys. Very, very good progress. It's looking absolutely fantastic. Got the hood done. I've got the whole roof done too, so I'm making my way back. God, it's so nice to work on a smaller car. So that's uh, that's where I'm at so far. Still using the 3D one and the white pad. I've got my I've got my G8 here. With I really, guys, I really like these Rupes pads. I want to say that they're my they're gonna be my go-to foam pads for sure. I love the way they taper out. Makes it easier uh, to get into some tiny spots. Don't worry, that's not a body bag right there. That's a Christmas tree, guys. So yeah, so far everything's working good. Just giving you guys updates. So let's get back to work. All right, everybody, we are finished. This thing looks absolutely fantastic. I want to thank each and every single one of you guys for coming along on this video journey and supporting the channel. Uh, I'm so blown away by the amount of gloss. Look at that was a Lightning McQueen moment right there. Uh, so we're gonna get into a walk around, but I want to say thank you guys all. I hope some of you guys can take a little bit away from this video. I want to encourage you guys to get out that polisher out, get out on your paint, have some fun, get some results, and just have a good time. So thank you guys all. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, smash that thumbs up, click that bell. That way, when I upload more videos, whatever it is, car related detail reviews, you guys get notified. I hope you guys all out there have a fantastic day night evening whatever it is where you guys are at and enjoy this walk around